Hey, welcome back to our fourth Grasshopper tutorial. Today, we're going to create another simple but impressive project that you'll love. Let's get started. Curve Primitive Rectangle Plane, World XY The plane on which our rectangle is located is the XY plane. Let's learn how to adjust the preview plane size. Display Preview plane size 80 Now the default plane size will appear as we specified it. Let's learn how to connect the XY plane to the input. Vector XY plane Connect the planes now we can turn off the preview of our plane. Right click on the XY plane. Preview. Let's continue by determining the segment lengths of our rectangle. X size. Y size. We will create a number using a number slider. Params. Number slider. Minimum, 0. Maximum. 1. Double click on the number slider. Digits. Digits sets the number of decimal places allowed for the slider's numerical values. Double click on the max. 200. Click OK. Minimum, 0. Maximum, 200. Connect to the X size. Double click on the number. 140. Let's create another slider for the Y size. Double click on the canvas. 50. Connect to the Y size. Thirty. Now. Let's learn how to move this rectangle along the y-axis. Transform. Move. Connect the rectangle to the geometry. We will use the y-vector to determine the direction of movement. Vector. Vector. Unit y. Connect to the motion. Fifty. Connect to the factor. Thirty. We can control both the Y size of the rectangle and the movement distance using a single slider. Delete. Connect the slider to the factor. Now, let's learn how to create multiple copies by generating a number sequence. By holding down the control key, you can disconnect a wire. Sets Series Let's use a panel to better visualize the series we created. Params Panel Connect the series to the panel. Start, 0. Our series starts from 0. Step, 1. We should connect the step input to the same parameter as the Y size of our rectangle. Connect the slider to the step. The series is now generating values in increments of 30 units. Connect the series to the factor. Forty. The series is now generating values in increments of forty units. 
30. Count, 10. The series consists of a total of 10 indices. In Grasshopper, since the first index starts at 0, the last number is always 1 less than the count. Let's adjust the count of the series. 0. Less than. 50. Connect to the count. 12. To make our design more interesting, let's extrude the rectangles incrementally using the series again. Surface. Freeform. Extrude. Right click on the rectangle. Preview. Connect the geometry to the base. Direction. Vector. Vector. Unit Z. Connect to the direction. Hold control to disconnect the wire. Let's create another series to perform the extrude operation. Sets. Series. Connect to the panel. We'll input the same value for the start and the step. 15.0 Connect to the start. The series starts at 15. We'll control the step amount input with the same number. Connect to the step. The series starts at 15 in increments by 15. Count, 10. The important point is that the number of rectangles equals the number of values from the series for extrusion. We have 12 rectangles. We will also use the slider that controls the number of rectangles to control the number of extrusion values. Connect the slider to the count. We have created 12 numbers corresponding to each rectangle. Connect the series to the factor. Looks good. Seventeen point five. The series starts at 17.5 in increments by 17.5. Delete the panel. Right click. Preview. Let's close the open ends of the extrusions using cap holes. Surface. Cap holes. Connect the extrusion to the BREP. Right click. Preview. Params. Panel. Connect the BREP to the panel. There are 12 closed breps in our list. Now, let's merge them all. Intersect. Solid Union. Connect the brep to the breps. Right click. Preview. Connect the result to the panel. Now, we have a single closed BREP. Delete the panel. In this step, 
we will remove the unnecessary edges on the planar surfaces of the BREP. Surface Util Merge faces Connect the result to the BREP. Right click Preview OK. Looks better. Let's take a look at what we've done. Y size. X size. Count. Step. Finally, let's convert our grasshopper model into a rhino model. Right click on the breps. Bake. Click OK. Select the Rhino model. Move. Perspective. Shaded. Perspective. Monochrome. Move. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.